Hello everyone, Wreckabilly here. Today I want to talk about map knowledge and why it's important. Map knowledge is knowing the elements of the map, knowing what can happen and where you can be and what you can and can't do. There's a lot of reasons why map knowledge is important, but I kind of want to go over some of the basics. And feel free to chime in if, if you feel I missed something in this video, let people know in the comments below. I sure as heck would like to know if I missed something so that I can improve my game as well. I in no way claim to know everything about map knowledge, nor do I know even some of the, 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 the basics. There's a lot that I need to learn, so feel free to leave a comment explaining more detail on things that I may not have put in this video. Alright, so the main reason why I want to make this video is because I've noticed a lot of people, even pros, doing something that is very like amateurish and I don't understand why people are doing it. That is, when you're leaving an area where you think somebody is, you turn around and you go like this. So let's say you have an enemy here at B doors and you decide you're gonna go into tunnels. Hypothetical situation, just random thought. So you know that there's a guy here, you're having a battle with him, you can't seem to get the kills, he's hiding behind the walls, but you know that he's there for sure. And then you decide, I need to pull back, go into tunnels. A lot of people just turn around and start walking into tunnels. You don't need to do that. With map knowledge, no matter where you are, you should be able to go straight from where you're at into tunnels while looking at the area that the enemy is. That is why map knowledge is important. You can have your crosshair fixed on that spot and still know that you are safe and able to walk into the specific area that you want to. It's a very important thing. Also, map knowledge is important for, let's say, if there's a smoke down here. Now, <laughs> I might screw this up, but basically, when you're here, you're inside the smoke and you can't see a thing. Let's say you're pushing out as terrorists into sight, or maybe you're retaking a sight. Jumping up here in the smoke should be very, very possible and maybe even easy for some people. But I've noticed that a lot of people, they go like this and then they fall or they, they can't find it or they jump way too far out. It's very easy to make a mistake if you don't understand the map. Even knowing that you can get up there is an important thing. Knowing that a CT could be standing right here when you come out of tunnels means you're going to be aware of that area and perhaps check your corners and maybe even pre-fire it if you notice that somebody's been playing there. It's a very important thing to understand what you can and cannot do in the map. Map knowledge is also knowing what does and does not work. So let's say you want to flash for your player in mid and you decide I'm going to flash over here. Well, that doesn't work. As you can see, it bounces off of an, an, an invisible wall here. That's a barrier and you cannot throw nades or anything through it. So that does not work. Knowing that alone is going to make you change your position so that if your mid player needs assistance you can maybe come down here and flash for him if they're pushing out or something and get ready like that rather than trying to do something that just simply does not work. Finally map knowledge can be used against people who have no map knowledge. So let's say you are saving your gun and you come into T-spawn you can hide in this corner right here and even though you kind of stick out a little bit Hardly anybody looks here because they're too busy going like this. They run out and they're like, okay, he's not here, he's not over here. And then they're checking this area, looking over here. Hiding right here, I usually get away with it and take a peek out and I see somebody coming after me and I kill him. Knowing those spots that are uncommon can actually benefit you greatly in any map, really. So let's see, another uncommon spot is, for instance, usually a lot of people like to stand out here when they're uh, CTs and they're holding long but I've noticed that hardly anybody expects you to be up here so let's say that there's a smoke right here well actually I think I may have done it a little too close to me but basically if it's a little further away you can see over it sort of maybe even right here you can kinda see over nobody thinks to look up here well some people do I look up here sometimes but nobody seems to look right here and then uh, 
you can take a lot of advantage of this simple ledge right here. This ledge does a lot, even for sight. A lot of people on site, they'll be looking in pit, they'll be looking on plat, they'll be looking long, but then they'll see you randomly here in the middle of the wall, and then you'll one tap them in the head and they're freaking out like, oh, god damn it, I should have looked there. Yeah, you should have. It's basic map knowledge that can really change the way you play in a game. Knowing what you can and can't do. One of the things that I do for, um, for whenever I go cat from CT, I usually head over here, jump, Crouch, go like this, like this, and over here. And it's a pretty fast way to get to catwalk if you don't have your players to boost you. But that simple little just understanding that what you can do with your player's motion along with what you can do with the, uh, the map can save you from running all the way around here, going like this and then pulling out your gun over here because it's already too late. They're probably already on cap by the time you get there. It's really important to understand shortcuts, to understand little places you can and can't go. It's, it, I, I think it's making a lot of sense now. There's, there's not much to be said other than knowing what corners to check, how to exit an area without having to look at it, and knowing exactly where you're gonna be when you get there. So it, it's, it's kind of important in matches. It's it's so extremely important in matches, not kind of. I see it a lot of times, and it really bothers me because everyone knows Dust 2, or at least I feel like everyone should know Dust 2. But then I see a CT is pushing out long. They know that they are long. It's the only CT left, and then the guy turns around and starts walking this way. Sure, go ahead and walk this way, but at least watch your back. You know he's there. <laughs> Uh, it's just one of the things that bothers me. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you feel like I missed something, please, again, let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful or informative in some way, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Video, as you can see, I am not using a face cam because there are some weird things going on that's causing a lot of FPS lag. Where happened, and we need to figure out why. Now, I really do suggest people review their own demos. A lot of even pro players say...